What's good, y'all? It's Chanel, also known as To Be Fresh, coming at you today with a mic setup video. I happen to be recording today for um, some uh, film stuff, so I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to set up for that specific purpose. Um, there's a lot of different ways to record the tuba. I'm playing the concert tuba today by C Tuba, so I wanted to get something where I took off my um, kind of vocal booth style type of thing that I usually have on here. And I wanted to get more of the kind of natural room sound, like, you know, the naturalness of the tuba sound, the nice large bell, and to get some natural reverb from my horn. So it's a little bit further away. It's about, I don't know, four, five, six inches away from my bell. Um, and I think that's gonna allow me to just get the natural overtones of the tuba. There's a lot of different ways to record, but for this purpose, recording something as naturally sounding as I can. Um, I think another video I'll show you guys how to record for maybe like the sousaphone or something where you're doing a little bit more pop stuff, a little bit more jazz stuff. There's different ways to do it. I always love to get um, to hear my natural overtones because, you know, I have a big sound. Why not hear it naturally? And the sousaphone, as you can see right here, same as in my sousaphone, I have a little patch right here. Now I learned this from the awesome um, tuba player, Don Godwin. So um, what I do is I have a SM57 and I just like have Velcro on it, put that on there when I'm playing stuff that's non-classical. So it's a little bit closer in, but it's still kind of close to the bell, which I like. Some people, they put it way in, I like mine right here. So I think in another video, I'll show you guys recording setup where you have one mic here and you're also getting that room sound, which I like. So you're getting a little bit of a boomier sound with the mic closer into the bell, a little bit more of a bass, bass sound, because you're, you're kind of getting the notes, you're getting the sound closer as it's coming out. And also having that mic up there is, I think you want both. Um, so I'll show you guys in another episode. I'll show you guys in another video. Um, but yeah, I want to show you guys the, the mic that I have. You know, it's a pretty good mic for the price. I really, really love it. I had another mic before and it just, the game was just so low on it. So this is perfect. It's a Rode NT1-A. Rode NT1-A. And I really love it for low tones, tuba, flugabone, and basically everything I record in vocals. I really love it. It's kind of like a great all around mic. Um, and I have another mic that I've been using. Um, it's a Shure um, 98H. It's a clip on mic. And I use that because it's just easy to read music uh, off my screen, which I'm not using today. This is just like a more professional mic and it's more for recording. Whereas the SM, whereas the Shure 98H is more for live playing. So I kind of try to use that not as often as I use this one. Anyhow, that's it. I hope you guys, I'll put the link below for this mic right here, the Rode NT1-A. And yeah, I hope I helped you guys out. Peace.